So once again, hello guys. This is Anand from Tech to Heights, and today we will be going to talk about something really, really great and something really special. Yes, this is the world's cheapest smartphone with 4 GB of RAM, priced at 10,000 rupees. So in case if you can't remember, or in case you had just forgotten what I said before, this is Anand from Tech to Heights, and let us just begin. So without uh, begin, uh, so before beginning, I would let you to say that uh, you guys seeing a tag coming here that is a poll, or I would say that is something sort of uh, I would say exam or something like that. You have to click on that and click on uh, what do you want from me to have make better video quality? Do you want me to have a better uh, camera smartphone? I could buy a Moto J4, I could buy a MR5. That depends upon you. Or should I buy a DSLR camera? So click on that. And state away your answer in the multiple choice questions. So without wasting any further time, let us just begin. Considering the price, this thing is really amazing. Four GB of RAM and thirty-two gigs of ROM is really great at ten thousand rupees. So this, let me just okay. So this thing is brought to you by Chiku Company. Q I K U we pronounce it Chiku instead of Kiku. So Chiku company, which is a Chinese ambassador, a Chinese brand maker, is presenting you N4 Chiku N4 and priced at ten thousand nine hundred and ninety nine in the compartment of ten thousand rupees. So I had read all the specs that Chiku had sent me. You know these days since I am getting a little my channel is getting a little bit larger. At before times. Companies don't give a shit to me, really. But these days, companies are sending me the lists of their products to review, and soon I think so. After some time, three two months after, they will too send me their review units. So Chiku has sent me world's cheapest 4 GB RAM smartphone. And in terms of the specs, I would say it supports a powerful chipset of Android 6.0 Marshmallow. That is Android Marshmallow 6, and uh, hope so it will be getting the Android 7 update Nutella. It supports a powerful chipset, and uh, I would say there are 7,209 mobiles currently in the Indian market. 7,209 mobiles in the Indian market currently. And out of that, this is rated as a seventy-one. Cause there are one plus two and one plus three. Uh, soon to come iPhone six plus. But why this is rated as seventy-one? Cause of the four gigs of RAM at ten thousand rupees. So without wasting any time, let us just begin. It supports a non-removable battery of three thousand and eighty milliamp hour, three zero eight zero milliamp hour non-removable battery. A 30 megapixel rear shooter, a 5 megapixel front shooter, and that is supported by a really good sensor. They doesn't add mention me the sensor name, but they are saying that it is a redesigned camera. In terms of the technical, okay, let's just uh, talk about the camera too. 30 megapixel camera with auto focus, dual LED flash, 1080p video HD recording, 5 megapixel front camera. Now, in terms of the display, it supports a 5.5 inch. Full HD display that is about 1080 into 1920 pixels. A uh, 401 PPI, 401 PPI. Then in technical we had 32 GB of inbuilt memory, 32 gigs of ROM. A memory card supported up to 128 GB, 4 gigs of RAM and 2.5 gigahertz octa core processor. And in case if you didn't know a lot about these processors and to uh, octa core gigahertz. So you should check the link that is coming up behind here. That's a explanation video. In terms of connectivity, it supports uh, Edge, GPS, 3G, 4G, GRS, Wi-Fi with hotspot, Bluetooth, and GPS. In terms of the extra, this had a 315 mm headphone jack commonly, but this also supports a fingerprint sensor. Now, if I came to my analysis. So the group range I would divide this is nine thousand five hundred to thirteen thousand. So I had seen about three hundred to four hundred mobiles in the range of nine thousand five hundred to twelve thousand five hundred. 
in terms of so let me just do that which things are good in this one in comparison to another as you can if you can't just hear to my voice so here it will be written in terms of the cpu speed this is the highest i would say let me just click yeah this is the highest one in the price range of 9500 to 12500 The CPU speed is highest by the Chiku N4. This one of 2.5 gigahertz, followed by Li Eco 2, followed by 2.5 gigahertz. Then a Xiaomi Redmi Note 2 Prime 2.2 gigahertz. RAM is great on this phone. The uh, highest RAM in this range is 4 GB of RAM, followed by the Xiaomi Redmi Note 3 of 3 GB of RAM. In terms of the inbuilt memory in this group, it is the best I would say. But uh, if uh, I would uh, take the range to thirteen thousand and five hundred, so Lenovo Lenovo ZUK Z1 win with sixty four gigs of RAM. Oh, sorry, ROM. In terms of display, this supports a five point five inch display, but the highest display is provided by the Lenovo Golden Warrior Note eight of six inch. Then Panasonic Lenovo S nine three zero six inch. But I would say in this range you shouldn't get a big phone. You should had a normal phone of five point five inch max. In terms of the display resolution, it supports a full HD screen. In terms of the display and PPI, it really supports a full HD screen. In terms of camera, it supports a 13 megapixel redesigned camera. Battery size of 380 milliampere, thickness of 8.3 mm. The thickest phone in this range is a Vidalik Vami Passion Y HD of 5 mm. No spec score out of 100. According to reading the specs, what rate should I give? According to me, after reading the specs, I will give it 85 out of 100. Then I will give 81 to Xiaomi Redmi Note. Then I will give 80 to Museum 3 Note. So now let's just came to I had divided these things into pros and cons. So let us just talk about the pros. Pros that are. It has a dual SIM with a external support of uh, uh, memory expansion and uh, inbuilt memory of 32 gigs. Ultra slim of 8.3 mm capacitive touch screen, 5.5 inch big screen, a high resolution screen of Full HD, followed by the 401 PPI that is really great. A redesigned 13 megapixel camera which supports HD video recording, and then it supports a uh, 5 megapixel front shooter with HD video recording. Octa core CPU to with the 2.45 gigahertz of processor and 4 gigs of RAM supports Wi-Fi, NFC, Bluetooth, gyro sensor, accelerometer, compass. Now let us just came to cons, the disadvantages. The disadvantage that I saw on this phone according to the specs, it doesn't had a FM radio. Lol. It doesn't had a FM radio, that's not a big thing. You can have music. It supports a non-removable battery, so it's good, I would say. But for some people, it might be an issue. That's why I had to say this. And you can't connect it to the output to, of your TV, so that will not be an issue because these days we are screen mirroring on our phones. So that's all the information that they have sent it to me. But wait a second, guys, because after this video, I will also show you the photos of this thing. That is the Chiku and four. Thanks, guys. This is an air from Tech to Heights, and if you like my content, oops, this will be great. And if you like my content, please subscribe to my channel because as you will subscribe, as review units, I will receive nothing like that. So, guys, let us just. Uh, Quit this video because it's time. And thanks, guys. This is another from Tech to Heights. And if you hadn't till answered yet to the poll, that is, what do you want me to buy as a camera? A great camera, a smartphone that could be, I would say, Moto G4 or a DSLR. So to access to the polls, you can just might getting the poll again here, or you have to click on the I option and check that out. So thanks, guys. This is Anirudh, but first watch these videos and subscribe to my channel.